Beneath the veneer of skepticism, reality bears witness to chilling truths in the haunting corridors of history where shadows dance with undeniable evidence. Remember this, the stories are true. Prepare for a revelation where the supernatural is stripped of fiction and the unknown is laid bare. Are you ready to confront the undeniable? The stories are true and the echoes of reality await. In a chilling revelation, legendary English singer-songwriter Gary Newman recounted a harrowing paranormal experience that left him and his friend terrified on the London underground. The Cars hitmaker, known for pioneering the electronic music genre, claims to have encountered the spirit of an old man dressed in 1940s attire, only to witness the ghostly figure vanish into thin air. The eerie incident dates back to Newman's youth when he and his friend Gary Robson ventured to London to purchase his first decent guitar. Little did they know that this ordinary excursion would transform into an unforgettable brush with the supernatural. As Newman vividly recalled, they were on the Piccadilly line, disembarking at Piccadilly Circus Station. Engrossed in their conversation about music and aspirations of forming a band, they mindlessly followed a group of people ahead unaware of the paranormal encounter that awaited. There was this old man in front of me three or four steps further up. He sort of dressed like he was from the 40s, but a lot of old people do. They dress from the era that they know. So he had the fedora hat on, long gray coat, Newman described, initially unfazed by the elderly gentleman's vintage appearance. However, the situation took an unsettling turn when they reached the top of the stairs. Newman and Robson followed the man as he rounded a corner only to find themselves in a sealed-off tunnel with no apparent exit. The old man had simply vanished into thin air, leaving the bewildered pair grappling with the inexplicable. We both saw him. We both followed him. Now by the time this has happened and we stood there and thought about it, the few people that were behind us have now gone the correct way. They've gone off where they're going. So now we're on our own in this stub of a tunnel, totally freaked out now, really, really frightened. He must have gone through the wall. He's just vanished. This man has vanished, but we both followed him, Newman recounted, his voice laced with residual terror. The shared experience between the two friends lent credence to the unnerving event, preventing them from dismissing it as a mere figment of their imagination. Gripped by fear and the realization that they had potentially witnessed a ghost, the duo fled the scene in search of safety. Newman, who has sold over 10 million records throughout his illustrious career, admitted that the ghostly encounter has haunted him and Robson to this very day. The vivid memory remains etched in their minds, a testament to the unexplained phenomena that lurk in the shadowy corners of the world we inhabit. While paranormal skeptics may dismiss Newman's account as mere fiction or misinterpretation, the visceral fear he and his friend experienced that fateful day on the London Underground cannot be denied. For those who believe in the existence of spirits, this chilling tale serves as a reminder that the veil between the living and the dead may be thinner than we realize. Thanks for joining us on this eerie adventure. If you enjoyed the chills, don't forget to subscribe. More mysteries await. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay curious. Thank you.